Hi there and welcome to uh, your next practice, your slow flow practice for today. My name is Guy, Guy Friswell from uh, the west coast of Canada. And uh, today, a 45 minute practice, uh, well rounded, and we'll kind of just see where it goes. Enjoy. Uh, we'll start on our mats today and we're going to start standing up is my plan. So come on to your mat. <coughs> A crack crack <laughs> so as you come onto your mat stand up nice and tall with your feet together big toes touching heels touching eh, a little bit of a shiggle a shake and then take your dominant hand whatever that is place it just below your uh, belly button and then put your non-dominant hand on top of that take a nice big inhale a long exhale and close your eyes at least if that's comfortable you'll notice right away that as you close your eyes a little bit of wobbling happens this is normal and we're going to really sink into those wobbles so maybe lean forwards just a little bit press your big toe mounds into the floor spread your toes out a little bit more now rock the weight back towards your heel and then forwards and backwards trying to find that midpoint of balance in your feet forwards and backwards and then similarly left and right noticing the balance in your feet from left to right and trying to find a perfect pinpoint of balance and as your feet start to feel a little bit more comfortably grounded allow your attention to move up your legs you may notice that you're gripping quite firmly through the thighs or somewhere Try to dissipate the amount of uh, muscular activity and just stand there. Wobbling is normal. And from this place of a uh, bit more rootedness, connect in with why you came to practice today. What is it that this body, mind and heart of yours need today from your practice? And as you establish that, let's just mark the start of the practice with a shared breath. Take a nice big inhale. And a long, delicious exhale. And welcome once again to your yoga practice. As you open up your eyes, take your arms way up overhead. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, just wash your hands down. Bring your hands on to your hips and start to roll your neck around in a big circle. Three, four, five times. And then go the other way. If you're hearing a bird-like noise, I just noticed I got a peacock at my window <laughs> watching us practice. Uh, so many peacocks where I live. And then pause. Take your hands onto your shoulders, roll your shoulders back. One, two, three, four, and five. And forward, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Interlace your fingers in front of you. Your elbow is about the same height as your shoulders. And start to roll your wrists. You'll notice your elbows sort of pump up and down as well. So we're working against the elbows and the wrists as we twirl the wrists. Hand in a nice strong fist. And then go the other way. A few snap crack pops probably. And then send your hands way out front. Press your hands away from you. Still fingers interlaced. Chest nice and proud. That's it. And then slowly release your hands. Go side to side. Tap your shoulder. Tap your back as you go side to side, waking up our spine just a little bit here. So if you practice with me, you know that I like my warm ups. So that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> Getting ourselves nicely warmed up. Beautiful. From here, hands on your hips and start to rotate your hips in a big circle. So we're trying to mobilize into our hip sockets here. So really feel and sense into the rotation of your hips and then go the other way around and around we go clunk 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 perhaps <laughs> find the rotation 
And then feet together, knees together, hands on your knees, circling into your knees. So this is going to mobilize your knees, but also you're going to feel a bit of pressure into the fronts of your ankles. That's a good thing. So it works the ankles a little bit. Go the other way. Awaken ourselves up. Beautiful. Now from here, as you inhale again, hands all the way up as you stand up. Your hands are going to touch. And as you bring your hands down, interlace your fingers. Tuck your chin and press your interlaced fingers away from you. So rounding through your upper back. And then inhale your hands up towards the ceiling. Stretch up. Exhale, hands out wide to the sides of your body. Again, inhaling hands all the way up. Exhale, hands come down, fingers interlace and press away from you as you tuck your chin, round your upper back, really stretch your hands forwards. Inhale, hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands out wide. One more time, just like that. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down, fingers interlace, palms press away, chin tucks. And inhale, rise all the way up, stretch up as you press your feet down. Exhale, hands out wide. Nice. A few movements of our spine. Inhale your hands all the way up. Exhale, settle your shoulders. And then hold on to your left wrist with your right hand. Reach up and exhale. As you exhale, take yourself over to your right hand side. So you're pulling with the right hand. Your hips are moving a little bit to the left. And we're trying to uh, open up the left side of your hips, the left side of your rib cage. It's more, you're more reaching to the upper right than collapsing to the lower right. So reach up and out of the right hip as well as the left hip. Breathe comfortably into that. Notice your shoulders and your hips. Shoulders and the hips are roughly square with the front of the room. So that right shoulder typically needs to come forwards just a little bit. As you inhale, come back up. Keep your hands lifted. Separate your hands. Settle your shoulders. And then inhale, reach up as you hold the right hand. And exhale over to the left, extending through the left side of our torso. You can draw your abdomen in. You can feel that sense of extension through the right rib cage, letting things uh, soften a little bit there. Left shoulder a bit forwards. Yakety yak. <laughs> As you inhale, come back up. Palms face forwards. Separate your feet. And then sit down into the chair, palms face the ground. So I'll show you again from the side so you can kind of see this. From here, fold your arms in. So bend at your elbows. Hold on to your forearms, chest proud, and tug your elbows. So it feels like the elbows are trying to pull apart. And nice and strong through your upper back. This sort of isometric activation through the upper back that we don't really get too much in yoga. Nice. And then inhale, stand up, hands all the way up. And exhale, hands all the way back down onto your hips again. Bend your knees a little bit. Now shift all the way over onto your left foot. And take your right ankle up on top of your uh, left knee. Now if you fall down, well, maybe lean onto something, get back into it. <laughs> Put a little bit of uh, awareness into your right foot. I like to draw my right toes back towards me. We're sitting here, a little bit of rebounding. Maybe your weight is back, maybe it's forward, so more or less compression in your ankle. Palms face forwards. You can even tip forwards a little bit if you like to get a little bit more of a uh, compression into your right hip. This is standing figure four is what it's called. And then from here, inhale, hands up, foot down. Blessed relief, exhale, hands down. Little bend in your knees again. Find your right foot nicely balanced, nicely rooted. Take that left ankle on top of your right knee. Wake up the left foot, so draw your toes back towards your knee. Sit down, hands away from you. No weight could be back or forwards, doesn't really matter. And you could tip forwards if you like. All of these are just sort of options as you explore balancing on one leg and finding the wobbles. Wobbles are not a bad thing. They're a good thing. It's a sign that your body is navigating something new. You're learning something. Not bad. <laughs> as you inhale, hands up, feet together. Exhale, hands down. Let's add a little twist in here. 
Inhale, hands all the way up. Exhale, sit down. So knees together, feet together. Supported twist. So here, uh, we're trying to keep your knees and hips square with the front of your mat. Take your left hand outside your right knee, right hand to low back. And then gently twist, uh, abdomen draws in, chest rotates, you look over your right shoulder. This is called a supported twist. We're trying not to let that right hip drag back. So bum, knees, feet are all in line with one another. Just working your spine. And then inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, sit down, squeeze your knees strongly together, hips nice and strong. Right hand outside, left knee, left hand to low back. Twist, draw your belly in, rotate your rib cage, rotate your shoulder. Maybe, maybe even your gaze goes over your shoulder. Yeah, and then inhale, stand up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your head. You're feeling warmed up? I'm feeling a little warmed up. <laughs> bend your knees a little bit. Keep your knees bent. So here's a back bend. Send your abdomen more forwards. Lift your heart up. You'll start to feel a back bend. Press your head into your interlaced hands and your head, hands to head, head to hands. Elbows start to move towards each other and up as you create this sustained back bend. Keep your abdomen drawing in and down. And then inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands out wide. Beautiful. From here, inhale, hands all the way up. And exhale, dive all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, we'll take your right leg back a long step. Put your right knee down on the mat with your right toes tucked and then ragdoll your hands up onto your knee. <clears throat> so here, this is a kneeling lunge. Any kind of uh, gnarly sensations in your right knee, you can take a towel or fold your mat up or something to offer a little bit more support for the patella of your knee. Um, it's not too bad here. I got two mats and a carpet, so it's comfortable. <laughs> Inhale your hands up overhead and let's take another side bend here. Settle your shoulders, hold your right wrist, reach up and side bend over to the left here. So the tendency is to collapse in that left side of your uh, hip. Reach out of the left hip as well. Find that extension through the outer right hip. Breathe into it. Shoulders nice and square. You've got this. And then inhale. Come back up and exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. From here, walk your hands back. Let your toe lift and feel a bit of engagement through the back of that um, left leg. So toes draw back towards you. Fire up all the muscles on the back of the left leg. Feeling a good sense of engagement there. And then slowly Walk your hands forwards again, feet together to a half lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees and take your left leg back. A long step, left toes tucked, left knee down. And ragdoll your hands up. So here, again, we've got the sense of real stability in the lower body. I like the sense of the right hip moving back and in and uh, the left hip moving slightly forwards. Hands up overhead, side bend. Hold on to your left wrist, reach up and exhale over to the right side as you find that extension again through the outer right hip. Feel your breath moving calmly. Yum. I need this too. <laughs> yeah. Need a good workout or is it a workout or is it a work in? I think yoga is a work in, trying to center ourselves. Inhale. Hands come up and exhale, hand come down. Walk your hands back as you lift your right toes. A little bit of a drag. It's almost like you're dragging the right heel back towards you, firing up the muscles in the back of your right leg. Yum. This is a half monkey stretch is what it's called. And then slowly come forwards. Feet a little bit separated and fold in. Put your belly on your thighs and keep it there. So your knees quite a bit bent. Let your head relax down. 
and then grab onto your big toes with your first two fingers. Keep your belly on your thighs the whole darn time. Let your head drop down, elbows go nice and wide, and start to pull your torso down your thighs as your bum lifts up, your head drops down. You're trying to straighten your legs without losing contact of body to legs. This will isolate the uh, engagement into your thighs more so than the glutes, which is a good thing. Give it a good tug. And then inhale, release halfway up. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. And inhale, rise all the way up. Don't pass out. <laughs> exhale, hands down. The rush of blood. One more. Inhale. And one more. Exhale. I know I have to modulate my own uh, blood pressure when I come from forward fold to standing. Everything sort of bloop, dumps down. Feels like you're going to pass out. You can exhale as you come up. Let's try that. So fold forwards. I'll just explain this. Normally what happens is we inhale and stand up, which is a bit challenging, but to make it uh, a little bit more accessible for the poor old head, take an inhale and then exhale, ragdoll. What this does is it creates a nice intra-abdominal pressure and you exhale to here and then inhale to stand up. This will be more accessible. All right. That was just a little sidebar. <laughs> From this place, let's do a little bit of balancing. So balance again on your uh, left foot. Bring your right knee up towards you. Hold on to your right knee with your right hand. And then keeping that knee as high as you can, take it out to the side as well. Notice your right foot is nice and active, so toes back towards your knee. And then either sus sustain this or take your left hand into chin mudra, first finger thumb touch. Send your hand out to the side, palm face up, and feel, find lots of distance between your lifted knee and your lifted hand. So find the cross-body connections here. Beautiful. And if you dare, you might even look towards your left hand. I'm not going <laughs> to, but you can try it. Hands back to your hips, inhale your knee forwards, and exhale, put down. Shake it off. Finding our balance That's what we need to do every day. Root into your right foot, bring your left knee up nice and high, hold with your left hand, take it way out to the side, high and wide, as high as you can, even active, active muscularly at that position. Right hand, first finger thumb touch, send your right hand out to the side. Maybe you wobble, oh dear. It's okay, you gotta keep that right hip nice and strongly engaged, nicely balanced in that point, belly in. Find that spaciousness, and then again, slowly, knee forwards, hands to hip, foot down. Shake it off. <laughs> from here, from the top of your mat, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, fold all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale, plant your hands, step one leg, the other leg back to this darn pose called plank pose. So in plank, we want our fingers spread nice and wide, You're pressing into the ground, nice and full through your upper back. I like to have my feet tight together. If it's too uh, challenging, you can always come onto your knees, a bit more accessible. Beautiful. Sustain this for five, four, three, two, and then one. We will drop our knees down, flatten out the tops of your feet, and lie all the way down, but don't move your hands. Inhale up into cobra. So cobra, we want your elbows moving more towards your uh, rib cage as you present your heart forward. So externally rotate your hands as best you can. Exhale, come down. Do that again. Inhale, come up, squeeze your elbows in towards you, chest nice and proud. Exhale. Come down. On your next inhale, come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, and press your bum up and back. Oh no, it's downward dog. Here it is. So downward dog is a, a spinal extension. You'll notice here I've got a deep bend in my knees. 
and a bit of a bend in my elbows as well. <clears throat> my hands nice and wide to accommodate my wide shoulders and moving your legs back and forwards to uh, get a bit of stretch into the backs of the legs here. You can sustain one side, sustain the other side. Waking things up. Then from here, as you inhale, take your right leg up behind you. Look forwards and try to bring your right foot between your hands. Boom. It's not an easy movement. <clears throat> it may be that you have to drop your left foot down and step your right foot forwards and then lift your back knee again. So find a way to get your <clears throat> uh, right foot between your hands. Left toes tucked, left heel still lifted. Another balance challenge here. Slowly rag it all up, maybe use an exhale. And then inhale, lift your hands up and settle into this standing lunge. Back heel could be strongly lifted, more pressure in your big toe mound, or it could urine away from you. Kind of depends on what you're sensing in your legs here. Beautiful. From here, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, twist to your right, palms face up, look over your right shoulder. Wobbling is normal. Inhale your hands overhead. Exhale your hands to the mat. Pause. I'm up on my fingertips. It's hard to get down onto my palms, so you could use your fingertips if need be. <clears throat> From here, take your left hand off of the mat and inhale your right hand up to the ceiling and really fire up that outer right hip. Then stretch up. And then exhale, bring your right hand down. Now try to place your hands flat on the mat. Step back to plank. And again from plank, knees down, feet flat, lie down. <clears throat> this time take your fingers off of the mat. Fingers tented. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to stay. Another big inhale. Exhale to stay. Now one more time, you can do this. One more big inhale. And exhale, down we go. Hands back on your mat. Inhale to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward dog. <clears throat> yeah, again, little bend in your elbows, little bends in your knees, walking in the spot. Balance on your right foot, take your left leg high up. And look forwards, try to step, boom, your foot between your hands. Can't quite get it there? Drop your back knee down. And put your foot there. No worries. Back toes tucked, back knee lifted. Find your big toe mound of the right foot. Really press into that and rise up. Mm -hmm. Now that, pressing into the big toe mound. If you've got bunions, which can be quite common um, as you get older, that's a, that can be certainly more challenging. So uh, try and find that balance in your feet as they get more narrow. Not, not easy, I know. Nice big inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the left, palms face up. Look over your left sh shoulder, excuse me. Find spaciousness through that left shoulder. Then inhale, hands back up, and exhale, hands down to the mat. Pause here, back toes stay tucked. Take your right hand off the mat probably, maybe on your fingertips, and take your left hand again up to the ceiling. Find that openness through the left shoulder. I'm certainly noticing it in this body. Reach up and exhale. Bring your hand back down. Both hands on the mat, step back to plank. Oh no, yes. Knees wide and down. Push back, child's pose, back of the mat. Let your head rest down. And find that simple rise and fall of your own breathing. Let your breath rate come back to uh, a normal sense for you. So not huffing and puffing. Trying to find that easy, modulated breath. <clears throat> Nice.
knees. And then from here, bring your hands uh, back forwards, fingers spread, lean forwards, tuck your toes. Here we go, downward dog. And from downward dog, right away, walk your hands back towards your feet, draping yourself over your upper thighs at the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, ragdoll up. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, bring your hands back down. One more balancing pose for us today, and then we'll get down onto our mats. So, feet together, uh, toes touch, heels touch. You know I like this pose, tree pose. Pivot on your uh, right heel, toes go out to the side. And what that does is it's opening your right hip uh, so that we can accommodate the foot. So either kickstand or press it against your thigh or calf, or maybe bring your foot up nice and high and press your leg to your foot. Trying to keep that left hip in place. This is tree pose. And then connect from the ground <coughs> to your heart. So bring your hands up. And again, sort of an option, if you like, from the heart up. From there, nice and broad through your shoulders, breath nice and calm, tree pose. Right knee is moving out to the right more strongly. And if you're not wobbling, try to challenge yourself just a little bit more. We're not trying to be perfect here. Actually, we're, we're practicing we're exploring the edges. And so finding the place of imperfection is what we're up to in yoga so that we can really move into all parts of ourselves, not just some perfect external ideal. Stop that. <laughs> nice big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your knee forwards. And exhale, let it go. I could yak so much about any of these topics, it's crazy. Pivot on your uh, left heel, point the left toes out, and then place, a, place your foot wherever it's going to go for you today. Press your foot to your leg, leg to foot, keep your hip integrated, so don't let that right hip pop out to the side, it's just going to make it difficult to stand. And then hands to your heart, and hands to the heavens, up we go. And we're trying to rest comfortably into the shape without collapsing. We're also trying to find a place where it's a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> so that place of uh, imbalance or imperfection. Because that allows us to move into that place of imperfection. So if you're always just perfect, da -da, you're not learning anything. You're just being perfect. It's like, who cares? Find where you're not perfect and work into that area. Nice big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your knee forwards and exhale. Hands down. Give it a little shake. Give it a shake. We're towards the back of the mat, I believe. Take a big inhale. Exhale, fold all the way forwards. Walk your hands up the mat to a good old plank pose again. Push away from the ground. So the essence of plank pose is to resist the pull of gravity. So push away from gravity in all its manifestations, nice and strong. And then we'll drop down your knees, flatten out your feet, lie down. And this time, overlap your hands, flare your elbows wide, place your forehead on your hands, crocodile pose. Let everything relax as you take a few well-earned breaths here. Nice. And then place your chin on the mat. Take your hands beside the side of your body, palms face the floor. And then we'll progress this slowly. Inhale, lift your heart and your face. Lift your feet from the mat, lift your hands from the mat. Locust pose, flying here. And then only if it makes sense, you could bend your knees, keep your knees lifted. Or if it's available, maybe grab your feet and kick your feet away from you 
This is bow pose, but they're all progressions of more or less the same shapes, building strength in the muscles of your back. Nice big inhale, exhale, hands by your shoulders, push back and over to child's pose again. Keep your hands forwards as your bum sinks back. This will help to uh, get a bit of elongation through your scapula muscle, uh, the, the shoulder blades. Mm. And then slowly sit up towards the back of the mat and swing your legs out front. <clears throat> Let's get into legs out front. Give them a shake, first of all. Let's lengthen our spinal column. So feet together, sit up nice and proud. Hands beside your bum, thumbs uh, pressing down. Really press into the mat. It's almost as if you're trying to lift yourself off the mat. You're pressing so hard. Shoulders down, chest proud. Feet back towards you. Press, 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 press. This is called Dandasana or stick pose. Doesn't look like much from the outside, but done right, you can certainly feel it on the inside. Slowly relax those arms. Inhale your hands up. And as you fold forwards, lead with your heart. So fold from the hip creases. Gaze forwards towards your toes. Maybe you hold on to your big toes your baby toes, maybe your ankles, your shins, but keep looking forwards as you fold forwards into your hip crease and avoid the tendency towards rounding your upper back. So just trying to keep the spine nice and long. Heels away from you, toes back towards you. This is called Paschimottanasana, intense westward stretch. Trying to elongate the entire back chain of our body here and then slowly slowly rise back up lean back bring the bottoms of your feet together your knees out wide bound angle pose so here uh, the placement of your feet will affect what you're sensing feet close it'll get to the inner groin inner groin feet further away outer hips which i prefer so Find that lift through your heart. Bring your hands onto your shins or your feet. Again, fold from your hip crease as best you can, as far as you can. And only once you've gone as far as you can into your hip crease, then we will offer a rounding. So tuck your chin, look down. Looking down or towards your belly button. Your belly button gazing pose. <laughs> You know, feel this perhaps in your, well, for me, feet farther away, the outer hips or the inner groins. You can accentuate that or make it more productive by pressing your feet into one another. This will activate the muscles that are being stretched. Find your breath, long and slow. And then slowly, slowly rise back up. Bring your knees back together, setting your legs out front, give them a shake, we'll give them a shake. <clears throat> and then putting your bum in the middle of the mat, we'll lie down on our backs. As you come onto your back, you can draw your knees in towards you and take your knees for a bit of a circle. One way and the other. Yeah. That uh, feels nice, <clears throat> beautiful. And then drop both feet down to the mat. Keep your feet a little bit separated and walk your feet in until you just sort of touch your heels with your fingertips. <clears throat> Bend your arms. Now I have a fly flying around me. Oh, such wonderful times. <laughs> Press with your elbows and lift your bum off the mat just a little bit, just a little bit. Bring your right knee up off the ground, up towards your torso. And now pressing with your feet and your elbows, inhale, lift your bum up higher, and exhale, let it drop down a bit. Inhale up, you can keep the right knee strongly towards you, exhale down. And one more time, inhale up, stay up, press up, and exhale, right foot down, spine down. 
maybe a little bit of a flip-flop, and then take the bum again off the mat a little bit, draw your left knee up towards you, and from this position, inhale, lift your hips up higher, exhale, drop them down. Two more times, inhale, hips lift as you press with your elbows, or left leg strong, and last one, inhale up, and really press, press, press up, press up, press up, and exhale, foot down, spine down, and hands down as you flip-flop your knees a few times, side to side. How are we doing here? Oh, we're doing all right. <clears throat> From this place, take your feet as wide as your mat, so right to the edge of your mat with your knees bent, and let your knees touch together. This is similar to what we just did. Now we're trying to keep our knees together the whole time. Hands or elbows can be bent 90 degrees here, arms bent 90 degrees. And then as you inhale, lift your bum up as high as you can as long as your knees are touching. So we're going to feel this perhaps in the outer hips and the glutes. Exhale, come down, but don't let your bum touch. Again, inhale, lift up. Press up, really press with your elbows. Exhale, down. Don't touch the bum down completely. And then last one, inhale, up. Press your hips up, squeeze your knees together. Hips up, hips up, hips up. And exhale, all the way down. And then simply let your knees flop to the inside a few times. Probably feeling that on the outer hips, which is quite nice. Beautiful. Bring your feet together, knees together. Uh, press with your feet, shift your hips a little bit to the left. Drop your knees to the right. Extend your left hand and gaze off to the left. Spine twist. Now, there's many variations on the old spine twist. You could be using your right hand to hold your knees down. You could be using your bottom leg to hook the top leg down. Um, there's many variations. So if you've got a variation you prefer, go for it. We're using this more as a restorative uh, pose, a bit of a release of the spinal column now that things are nicely warmed up. Breathing calmly, relaxing through your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. Mm -hmm. Slowing things down quite consciously here. And then slowly unwind, reposition your hips so they're square, hands can come in, a little bit of movement. And then hips go a little bit to the right as your knees go left. Your right arm extends, the gaze goes to the right. And accommodating that as however you like. You could be using bolsters and such to support you if you need. Is finding that slow rhythm of your breath. Mm hmm. That feels nice. You'll notice tensions here and there, and trying to use your exhale breath to dissipate or soften into those areas. Mm hmm. And again unwind and get your your hips nice and square both arms both legs up towards the ceiling and roll your wrists in a big circle your ankles in a big circle one direction and then the opposite direction maybe squeeze and spread your fingers into fists and then be a bit intuitive. I like to do a bit of a shake, just to shake off any kind of stuckness that is remaining in your arms and legs and hands and feet. And then slowly lie down, legs nice and long, feet flop open, palms face up, nice big inhale. And a long exhale. Now continue in this position called Savasana. 
watching your breath rise and fall as you lie here. Sensing into the feeling of your breath at the tip of your nose. Noticing the coolness of the inhale and the warmth and moisture of the exhale right at the tip of your nose. And notice the sensation of air moving from the tip of your nose up to the center of your forehead as you're inhaling. And as you're exhaling from the center of your forehead back down to the tip of your nose. Using your mind's eye to traverse from your nose to your forehead and your forehead to your nose as you breathe here in Savasana. Try to make both nostrils feel equally open. So if one side feels a bit more stuck than the other, focus on the stuck side as you're breathing. And then from this place, bring your attention to your heart, the center of your chest. And from me to you today, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well within your body, your mind, and your heart. May you meet each moment of your life with acceptance. And whatever is arising for you today, may you be peaceful and at ease. Take a nice big inhale. And a long exhale, sigh. And thank you so much, my friends, for sharing this space and this time with one another. So lovely to have you here, and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Take care. Namaste. I will stay online for a couple minutes. Thank you, Andrea. And as usual, um, if you're still in Savasana, I completely understand. Stay there. <laughs> but if uh, you did find some kind of value or benefit from this practice, your donations, of course, are more than uh, gladly and graciously accepted. Um, going towards uh, more production of content like this. Um, I have been recording this one today and I will be posting it up as well on my other channels.